Alright, so after the big Minecraft update of 1.6, a lot of things have changed when it comes to installing mods, and uh, therefore I'm just going to make this updated uh, tutorial on how you can install mods on your Minecraft in 1.6 and probably a lot of versions onwards from now on. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to be using my own mod as an example, which I've downloaded, uh, the emoticons mod right here, and I'm going to use that as an example when I install a uh, mod to Minecraft. So uh, first of all, you probably already have downloaded the new launcher, and uh, you, what you sh the first thing you should do to make sure that you get all the things you need is to start up the launcher. It'll look like this. This is how it is when you first start it up, except it will be loading a lot of things and installing the game. So uh, just open it and uh, let it download all the required files, and uh, then you want to log in and make sure that it also downloads the uh, the game itself, uh, if it hasn't already, of course. Um, and if you look at the launcher, you'll notice there are a lot of things that have changed. Like it, it, it looks kind of advanced. It kind of is, I suppose. Um, but uh, once you get used to it, it's probably going to be a lot easier when it comes to installing mods because you are now able to have different jar, uh, Minecraft dot jars, basically. Uh, have several of them in the same location and you can switch back and forth with them using profiles and uh, you won't have to rename or reinstall or anything like that. There is also no longer any force update uh, uh, because the uh, latest version or the default one will always uh, regenerate every time you start up the game. So basically you cannot mod that one because it will just regenerate and therefore you're going to have to make a copy of it and edit that one instead. So uh, this is how the uh, new launcher looks like and uh, I'm going to, first of all, uh, if you go on edit profile, well, this is just something I'm going to do first to make sure that uh, <laughs> things that are as I want them, that was just my hands. Um, first of all, I'm going to name, I'm going to go on edit profile, I'm going to name it vanilla uh, actually I'm going to name it latest vanilla latest vanilla and basically that is going to be the name of this profile and this profile is going to be set to always use the latest version available of Minecraft and therefore uh, it's going to always update as soon as possible and uh, therefore you can have this profile and just select it whenever you want uh, and therefore using that you can always use the most recent version of Minecraft, but you will still be able to keep track of all your mods, uh, modded versions. So, also one thing that I'm going to do, which is just a personal preference, you don't need to do this, this is just for my own. I like to make the game directory Minecraft files, and by doing that, it will place all of my custom user data in Minecraft files instead of Minecraft. So I'll have the game in Minecraft, and I'll have the, the custom, like the saves and settings in Minecraft files. Uh, it's just something I like to do, and uh, you don't need to do it. Anyways, uh, after you've done this, just name the profile or whatever, you can just save it, and uh, we're going to come back to this launcher a little later, but first of all, we're going to have to navigate to our Minecraft folder. So I'm going to close it, and go down to Finder, and right-click it, and select go to Go To Folder, and it will come up with this little box right here. And basically, this is what you want to type in. I'll have it in the description, but uh, it's basically just this squiggly line, slash library, slash application support, slash Minecraft. And uh, be sure to remember all the capitals and um, hit go. And you should op uh, should be able to uh, open this folder here called Minecraft, which is uh, the reason you have to go f uh, go to folder on Finder is because the library folder is hidden by default on later versions of Mac so therefore you will either have to enable it but I'm assuming most people haven't uh, or you would have or if you use an older version of Mac you will this will be visible from your your name but um, let's just this works for all versions of Mac uh, up from a certain point but at least all recent versions of Mac Anyways, uh, these are the files that you'll see in uh, the Minecraft folder. You will likely see more files because since I made my game directory Minecraft files, it's going to place those files there. But if you don't didn't do that, you those files will basically be in this folder as well, so they'll be merged. I just like keeping them separate. But uh, you likely have uh, like saves and uh, options uh, files in here as well. 
but it doesn't really matter whatsoever. Uh, all you have to do is just n navigate to the versions folder, open it up, and you will see a folder of your current version of Minecraft that is downloaded to your client, or downloaded locally to your computer. And uh, currently it's 1.6.1, which is the most recent one, and uh, this is the one that I have. And all you have to do with this folder right here is to right click it and duplicate. And once you duplicate it, this is basically going to make a copy of your Minecraft game that you can mod. Uh, you cannot mod this folder because it will regenerate, as I said, but you can mod this folder if you do the correct settings. So first of all, you're going to have to rename it. Uh, I'm going to call it custom, but it doesn't really matter what you name it. Just be sure to not use any special characters or spaces. You can use underscores or dashes, but uh, just name it something simple to keep things, uh, to make sure that it works. Now, after you renamed it, you can open it and uh, you will see these two files. Uh, these need to be renamed as well to the same name as the folder. So I'm going to rename them to custom.jar and custom.json. This json is basically the uh, config file for, uh, this is for the uh, new launcher, and the jar is basically the new version of minecraft.jar. So uh, just make sure that all of these three files have the same the folder, folder and the two files have the same name. And after that you want to click on the JSON file and open with text edit if it isn't default already. Just open it. There are a few things that we want to change in here, but the most important one is the first one, ID 161. You want to change this to the same as your files and folder. So custom in my case. This needs to be the same or else it will not work. So make sure to do that. Another thing I'm going to do is, since I created a profile which is always going to be the latest version of vanilla, uh, it's basically going to check for the file that has the most recent time stamp, like these. And uh, if since I duplicated the most recent one, this one has the exact same timestamp, and therefore the launcher will likely confuse these two files and launch the modded one instead of the vanilla one. So therefore I'm just going to edit this timestamp, both of them actually, to something that is definitely older than the one that is supposed to be the most recent one. And therefore I'm just going to change the year, one year back from 2013 to 2012 <clears throat> on both of these. And uh, so now this version is quite old. It doesn't really matter what this is, but um, just make sure that it's older than the other one uh, so that uh, if you have the first profile, the latest vanilla profile, to set to always use the latest version so that it doesn't think that this is the latest version. Also in uh, type, this will this will say release if you copied a released uh, folder instead of one, well if you copied what I did, 161. Uh, if you copied a snapshot folder, it will say snapshot in here instead. That doesn't really matter whatsoever, it will just uh, appear a little different, but make sure that if you edit this you don't want to edit it to anything else than release or snapshot because if you do then the whole launcher of Minecraft will screw up badly and you don't want that to happen. So uh, I have uh, experienced that where uh, basically it, it, it doesn't manage to load the profile properly so just keep it as it is probably. It's the best thing to do. And then you want to save the file and then you can just close it. And uh, now we want to install the mod. So this is where it comes to back yeah, how it used to be. You just take this jar file and you want to install the mod just like you did before with minecraft.jar. So on a Mac you want to rename it from .jar to .zip. And this will basically make it uh, a zip archive instead of a jar executable. So if you were to open it now it will be opened with archive utility and that will basically uh, unzip the file or unzip the jar file into a folder called custom and what you can do now is just to completely delete the zip file because we will never need it again <laughs> and uh, then we have the folder here and this is basically just acting like the folder minecraft.jar so take your mod and unzip it if you haven't already and I'm going to be installing this mod and as you can see here uh, my mod, which is this one, emoticons, only has these two files. Uh, one of them is an over, 
is a file that will overwrite another one and then there's the folder with more files and what you want to do inside of this folder you just want to drag these two files inside of that unzipped custom folder and it'll come up with this uh, little prompt basically saying if you want to replace the file and just do it replace the file and then you can just close close your uh, mod or the downloaded mod and after that there's one more thing that you likely want to do you want to locate the meta inf meta dash inf uh, folder in your uh, jar file or jar folder basically and you want to delete it um, it's not all on a Mac it's usually not required to delete that folder but just to be sure um, you want to delete that and get rid of it so it doesn't cause any crashes because that's what it <laughs> that's what it's made for no not really anyway so uh, now if you go back to where you have your folder uh, before it used to you used to be able to launch the folder as long as the folder was named dot jar but not anymore uh, as far as I'm aware uh, it's not possible to launch the folder anymore uh, you will have to convert it to a dot jar file again and doing so you just open it and you click on any file or just press command a selecting all the files just right click one of them and select compress X items and this will make all of these files into a new archive and now you need to locate it since I have my uh, my uh, folder setup set to uh, alphabetically order things it's gonna be a little, little bit tricky to actually find that file but it's called archive so it should be around here there it is archive.zip just drag that out of there to your desktop or something and then go back and now you can delete the folder because the archive contains everything that the folder contains so now you can put the archive back in there and what you want to do with this archive is that you rename it from archive.zip to custom.jar so this will basically uh, replace your previous .jar with a new one that you have now modded so now that you're done with this we're almost done with everything of installing a mod you can go back well actually you don't need to go back but um, now you can see we have the 161 here and custom so this is basically where everything is modded and 161 is where the vanilla is if you were to open your launcher again just take a look at it if you click on local version editor right here it, it will now list 161 and custom and uh, as you can see these are the same folders right here as in the list so uh, what you can do now is that you can assign a new profile to launch custom instead of 161 and therefore you can just switch between the profiles to um, to use a modded jar or a, or an unmodded jar so go to your profile editor and just select your profile the latest vanilla or the default if it is and you can just copy it or you can just add a new one but I like to copy it since I have uh, you know Minecraft files so it just saves your current settings copy the profile and give it a name I'm gonna call it custom and this has nothing to do with the folder you can just name it whatever but I'm just gonna name it custom anyways so what you want to do here is that you want this profile to use the custom version that you created which should be listed here if it's listed at the top that means the timestamp is probably from before 161 and that will basically mean that if you use latest version it's going to be using the top one and if custom is at the top then this one is going to run the custom and you kind of you kind of don't want that to happen it, it's not too much of a problem but it's probably best to give it an old timestamp so your custom uh, jar is now located on the list and you can just select it uh, if you copied a snapshot folder instead you're gonna have to click enable experimental development versions in s to be able to see it because it will be named snapshot custom instead of release custom and once you're done with that you can just save the profile and uh, you can just click play as after you've logged in of course you'll have to up here in the corner you'll have to select the profile so if you have latest vanilla selected right now it says it's going to really uh, start version release 161 and if you select the custom profile it's going to use version release custom so the custom is the modded one so let me just log in here like that and click play and here we have started up Minecraft 1.6.1 1 
So now let me just start up a world and uh, show you that the mod is working. So if you click T, it crashes. Yeah, silly me, I forgot I had actually extracted a broken version of my mod. Uh, this is not the one that I have uploaded, it was just an older one that I just had on my desktop. Uh, let me just re quickly replace that and go back in custom. I'm going to rename it to .zip, this is a little tedious, but it's, what's, it's what has to be done, I suppose. I'm just going to drag these in there and replace the broken version of the mod that I just put in there. Compress them and find the archive, which should be somewhere around here. Anyways, let's go back here, delete that, delete that, place that in there, rename it to custom.jar, like that. Okay, so now it should work actually. <laughs> my uh, game crashed because I had, when I was updating my mod, I uh, did something wrong and exported a version that was not actually working. So now uh, let's start up the custom release again and <laughs> this time it should be able to work. It was a little awkward but all right press T there we go. Symbols button and the mod is now working fine and uh, this way should work with all mods that are installed directly to your minecraft.jar or the new .jar format but um, all the other mods like Forge and Mod Loader, uh, you usually pl usually put Forge or Mod Loader in your jar instead of a instead of this mod, for example, and then you put your mods in a new folder inside uh, your uh, directory, uh, your basically your uh, what do you call it your version directory, your custom directory inside there next to your JSON and jar. You make a folder called Mods and uh, you put your mods in there. Uh, that's basically for Forge or a uh, mod loader. So um, yeah, so whenever you want to use your custom jar you can just select that there. When you want to use your vanilla or latest vanilla you can just uh, select that there. If it says, uh, if it fails to log you in like it did here, it, it usually does this. I'm not sure why but uh, just log out and log back in and it should be able to work. There we go. And now I'm playing online with a vanilla mod so if I were to press T now the mod is not enabled so there we go we have vanilla and we have custom so uh, there we go and that is basically it for all the mods on installing them on a Mac uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask and I'll reply to <laughs> anything and uh, yeah I will thank you for watching and I will see you later